So the king of rock and roll would have been 80 years old today. KETK's Brittany Thomason is live in Tyler to explain Elvis Presley's impact on East Texas. Neil and Casey, this is the Mayfair building where a young Elvis performed many years ago. Now, before he was the king of rock and roll, he was a performer right here in East Texas. Before he was the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley was a poor musician looking to make some money. Tom Perryman was a disc jockey and concert promoter. He took a chance on the young artist, playing his music on the radio, booking him concerts. The first money that Elvis Presley earned in the state of Texas was a total of $90. $90 in 1954 was a lot of money. I, I gave him all of it. Perryman knew he would be a star. I didn't know how long it would take. But when I saw these three, three generations receiving him in a positive manner, I knew then. Elvis was never anything but a nice young man at my, in our home. I told Billy, I said, look, that boy is talented. He can sing anything. The Gladewater Museum has a whole section dedicated to the King's time in East Texas. We know that Elvis performed out at the Mint Club. Of course, the Mint Club is no longer in existence but we have several photographs of his original performance. Perryman says Elvis may not have been the big name then, but East Texas fell in love with him early on. Northeast Texas, something about it. The people know when they hear something good. You can find the whole story on our website, KETKNBC.com. Reporting live in Tyler, Brittany Thomason, KETK News.